I just realized like halfway through this that I've been picking at my nail polish, so I don't have nail polish on all my hands. <clears throat> yes, no, yes. Okay. Which do I rather? Yeah. I would pick the smaller house on the better street. I think you can't change location. It's always true, location, location, location. Getting started with your first investment property is actually pretty easy. Uh, you can look at inexpensive properties that might be converted single family dwellings, so duplexes, triplexes, and then if you go back to the model where investing in something that's a good property is one that breaks even is essentially what you try to aim for. So after all your expenses and your carrying costs and your mortgage, if it breaks even, that's kind of the benchmark, and if it cash flows, even better. For me, when I invested in income properties, it was always about cash flow first. If I could get them even moving $10, $20 a month on the plus side, that was attractive to me. One thing people should ask themselves before getting involved in an investment property is whether or not they have the tolerance to be a landlord. It's not for everybody. I think the biggest complaints that buyers have when investing in a property is not realizing how much legwork it is to find a good tenant and hopefully a long-term tenant to ease your pain of finding constant tenants every year and people moving quickly. I think a lot of people think it's a much simpler process than it can be. Being a potential landlord, I would definitely suggest you should be aware of the Landlord-Tenant Board and what rights and obligations you have. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh I'm still mic'd.